Welcome back to level three. This is the Reharm game, level three. My name is Chris. I'm a pro piano player and I post videos like this every Wednesday. So today we are taking a look at five notes. We got the one, three, five, seven, and nine as you see there. And I've split up the words twinkle, twinkle into each note. As opposed to, if you see in the previous video, we were just doing the pitches. Right, so that's one chord change per pitch, but now we're doing two chord changes per actual melody notes, the words twinkle, twinkle. So again, I'm keeping this simple for twinkle, twinkle, just so you can see these concepts being broken down and you're gonna take it on your own and you're gonna run with it and you're gonna come up with some crazy harmonic combinations. All right, so we have five notes, but also, the four major chord types, as you see here, major, minor, diminished, augmented. So five times four is 20. So per melody note, that's 20 different options that you have at your disposal. In the first video, the basics video, if you haven't seen that, I'll put a card right up here. You can just go check that out. We were only doing three notes, the one, the three, and the five, you know? So your, your options are limited as far as uh, not wanting to repeat. That's the essence of the reharm game is to try to Per melody note, try not to repeat sounds or or repeat if you like the way that the shapes are. With 20 options, it's easy to not repeat, okay? For time's sake, I've already spelled out these uh, chord substitutions. Right, so the one in C is C. The C is the three of A flat. C is the five of F. C is the major seven of D flat. And it's the major nine of B flat. What we're going to do is explore not only, you know, the majors, but again, remember, we got the, the minor chord types here, right? So, and, and diminished and augmented. We're just going to, at random, we're just going to pick, you know, we're going to pick some, uh, some reharms here. So now, with the color red, I'm just literally, the idea is just to randomly pick stuff. Okay, don't repeat here. Um, you know, it's okay if you repeat, but, right. So let's try nine and seven. I'm going to keep it all major for now. So I'm just going to read this red here. And I'm, I'm going to play my own voicings and you'll do the same. Getting into some crazy territory here. Okay. Teddy has separation anxiety. He's lonely all the time. You want to say hi, bud? You say hi to me? What, buddy? You okay? What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, poor boy. Too many reharms for Teddy. So that was major, okay? With gray, I'm going to decide which ones. I'm just going to pick two of them that I'm going to make minor. Let's read this again now. Now I, I chose minor major seven here, um, but what if I wanted just straight up minor, you know, minor seven? Okay, we can do major, you know, major or minor seven, but so if I wanted minor seven here, the idea would be so we have A minor seven. As a palate cleanser, we're in C. So, A minor seven. You see, so you can get into so many different territories here. All right. So again, don't overthink. Just at random, we're just going to pick, you know, just pick different chord changes. So with, with yellow, I'll do, you know, nine here. Let's do three here. Five, seven, one. But I'm going to make the one minor in this case. All right. Let's do seven here and five here. That's a C. So we can get back to the one. Okay. Let's read this. So. To my ears, that's beautiful. Let me do it again.
Now, if you click the link below, I'll include the MIDI file of what I just played and all these changes so you can have them at your disposal, put them in your DAW, you know, or Sibelius or what have you, or Finale. <laughs> right, so let's pick another chord change here. Let's go with blue. But this time... You say hi? You say hi to people? Roxy needs a haircut. This is Roxy. I'm trying to record a video here. Let's, let's try to include diminished now. So if we want to make the melody note... C, a diminished chord, we got to find out C is the flat five of what diminished chord? That's F sharp, right? Okay, so F sharp diminished. So we'll do this one, this one. No, let's do five and five. That'll give us a nice F sharp to F, a descending motion. Okay, uh, let's do the three, which is E flat. Let's do up a whole step for F on the 9. And then uh, let's do the 5, which is D here. And then we'll get some minor third, up a minor third action for F from D to F is a minor third. Up and then uh, the third, which is E flat. All right, let me just read this here. Okay, that's nice. So, for variation's sake, you see we have uh, we have a lot of Fs going on, right? So, what if I make some of them minor? So, right, so again, so whichever one is gray, we'll make minor. Okay, that one's minor, this one's minor. All right, so let's try that. Okay, see, now we ran into an issue here. The melody note, remember, we're reharmonizing the melody. So the melody note is A, so really we can't make this one minor. You know, um, because we're on the three. The three of F is A, and that's the melody note. So we can't alter the melody note. We can alter the chord, but remember, we're reharmonizing the melody. Okay, so... In that case, what I'm going to do, we're going to introduce, you know, maybe um, the augmented here. And as you know, that's written as a plus. So let's do F augmented. That's sharp five. So the melody is still intact. The note A is still intact. All right, so now let me read this. What are we on? Um, blue, right? Yes. So... That's pretty sick. Now, if we want some parallel motion, you know, let's let's also do a sharp five for um for this E flat right here, E flat plus, right? So let's do it again. So you can get into some really interesting territory with this system, all right? Now, mind you, the 7 and the 9 that we were doing are the natural 9. But what if we decide to do flat, all flat 7s? All right, so we'll change this to flat 7, flat 9. Okay, so now with green, let's get some 7s going. So on the, seven, on the first melody note of C... We'll do major 7, all right, and I'll notate this like that. We'll do major 7, and then this 7 here will make it flat. So C is the flat 7 of what chord? Just go up a whole step, right? So that's how you know you're... So we're going to play D7 here, all right? So that's how we get that flat 7 going on. All right. Now back to green, let's do nine. So again, let's do flat nine. So we'll do the second F as the natural nine, right? So let me write this down. So F is the flat nine, remember, 
up a whole step of G. All right, so now we're, we're, we're on this melody note, G, right here. Okay, so now we got this, right, G7. So I'll write this, so we got G7 right here. Um, maybe we can see it easier as it be green. All right, so, yeah. All right, moving on. So little, we're at the note A. So let's do, let's do natural seven here, right? B flat, major seven, major seven here. And then we'll go flat nine right here. So A is the flat nine of A flat. So let's, so we're going to make this, where are you going? So we're going to make this A flat seven flat nine. Okay. And then, and then let's do just the one and I, I'm going to make this minor, the, the one minor. All right. Let's see what kind of, at long last, let's see what kind of sounds this is. All right. So we got D flat major seven, D seven, G seven. B flat major seven. Let me write that down so I don't forget. Major seven. And we got A flat seven flat nine and then G minor. All right, let's try it. That was a little slow, but now that I know what's up, let's do it again. Now I'm going to put some different voicings on it. So. see how crazy you can get with this system have fun with it i hope this is helpful for you to open up your ears and your mind to see what sort of crazy sounds you can you can do when you just take the time and 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 so what this is going to do is going to the sounds that you like the combinations that your ear loves you know you're going to memorize those and and you'll be able anytime you have that note doesn't matter what song it is if if you see a note a you'll be like oh okay i can use this anywhere you know so that's that's how i on the spot reharmonize let's say a singer is doing a rubato intro and it's a popular song that i already know sometimes they allow me to do crazy stuff and i use this system to you know to do that if you haven't already please subscribe stay tuned turn on the bell notification so you don't mix the next video the next video is going to be expert mode expert mode we're going to do some slash chords Okay, and um, that's next week, Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. And in case you missed last week's video, you can watch it right here. Have a great day.